The different data types in BI applications. We at CBT Nuggets want you to be as successful as you can possibly be. And me being the business intelligence guy, I know you can get out there and crush the BI landscape with all of the skills that we can prepare you with. One of those skills is one of the things that I had to learn immediately when I jumped into the BI landscape, and that's the different types of data. And while this can be a pretty simple topic on the surface level, it has major implications on the functionality of the BI tool that you're using. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What I've pulled into the screen here is something called Power Query, and this is a functionality built into Microsoft's Power BI tool, and it helps us transform, shape, mold our data into the exact format that we need it to be in before we start visualizing and analyzing the data. Now, what's really important is that each of these columns has a different type of data, and that different type ultimately impacts the functionality of the data itself. You see, I can look in the top left here and see this ABC. That tells me this is a text field. The one, two, three, this tells me this is a number field. Of course, calendars are date fields and it gets very, very granular and dynamic as we go along. There's binary, true, false. There's even geography fields, which aren't even listed here. And why does this matter? Why don't we just set them all to text fields because text fields can handle everything? Because each of these data types offers a different functionality. You see, when we choose a number field, then we can perform mathematical calculations. When we choose a geography field, then we can pull in the latitude and longitude calculations for each of those geographies and draw maps. When we choose text fields, then we can do all sorts of text functions like splitting text fields apart or adding them together. Now, we can't really dive into all of this now because it depends on what tool you choose. You see Power BI, Tableau, Excel, SQL, they all have different names for these different types of data and they all offer different functionalities based on what you choose. You see, databases might use the SQL programming language, whereas Power BI uses the DAX programming language, and Tableau uses the VizQL programming language, and because all of those programming languages are different, they all have different functions and different functionalities based on the data type that you choose. So now that you've had a little taste of the different types of data, when you begin actually studying for the certification exams, whether it be Tableau, Power BI, SQL, Excel, whatever you choose to go for, you're now more readily armed and prepared for what's coming at you when you start getting into the different types of data and then ultimately the functions that come along with that. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.